Hey, church family, thanks so much for joining us for today's daily devotional. Uh, we're kicking off our week talking about shaking off fear, and, and that fear could be of many different things, but uh, there's one thing that truly overcomes fear, and that is love. And so we're going to talk about not just any love today or, or throughout this week. We're going to talk about a, a love that is that is much more uh, much more than just the physical things that we feel or emotional things, the, the butterflies in our stomach. We're going to talk about true love, and that is the love of Christ, uh, the one who shows us what love is, what truly love is. So we're going to be looking in 1 John chapter 4, and today we're going to start in verse 12, where it says, No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is made complete in us. Now, there's two kind of statements here that are important for us to understand. Why does, why does John write, no one has ever seen God? And I think the reason why he puts that is no one has ever seen God's face. That, that, that is his, the full revelation of his glory, all uh, of who he is. No one's ever seen him and lived because we can't. We're imperfect, and he is, he is perfect. He's the very definition of perfection. So we can't look upon God. And so if we can't look upon God, that means others can't look upon God either. So then how do they see God? How do they see Christ? And the reality is they see Christ in us. Whenever we forgive others who treat us poorly, whenever we're honorable to those who, who don't respect us, who are dishonorable to us, whenever we love people who don't deserve to be loved, we are showing them the love of Christ. We're letting them see who God is. So, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Dean. Give me just one second. So it's important for us to show others who God is, and they, they can see that with, with that love. It's why he says, if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is made complete in us. Everything that God desires for the world to see about who he is can be seen in us. Others can see God's love in us, and all that he, all that he did for us is made complete whenever we love others. So our author gives us a couple of questions that we can look at. The first one is, why is it that no one has ever seen God? And then the second question, how is the church a picture of God in the world? Uh, church family, I hope you'll take some, some time just to work through those two questions. Um, certainly that second question, because it has so much to do with us, I hope you realize that when he's talking about the church, he's not talking about the church as an organization or, or a building. He's talking about the church as a group of believers set on the mission that God has given them. So how is the church? A picture of God in the world. How can others see God in us, see Christ in us? I hope you'll, again, take some time to work through those. And as you do that, I want you to know that we love you and we're praying for you.